Hey, it's Andrew with Car Cam Central, and we're back with a review of the $170 vehicle A129 Dual, our pick for best budget dual channel dash cam. It's the first front back camera under $200 that delivers great video quality, good warranty support, Wi Fi, and a reliable parking mode. We've been waiting years for a camera like the A129 to come out. Before, the rear camera's footage was really bad or the camera cost over $400. Now, you can get premium level features in the $170 camera. Launched in May 2018, the A129 Duo fills in the gap in our recommendations between our top budget choice, the $85 VFO A119, and our $250 plus premium picks. Make sure you get the Duo model, otherwise it won't include the rear camera. For disclosure, we have purchased all cameras at full retail price since 2017 and we aren't sponsored by any dash cam manufacturers or retailers. Our recommendations are based on our research, lots of hands-on tests, and a deep understanding of dash cams. In this review, we'll go over the most important details on the VFO A129. We'll get into some comparisons with our former budget recommendations, look at our premium camera picks, and also the new Rexing V1P third generation and pro cameras. There's a lot to talk about, so let's get into it. Starting with the basics, the A129 has loop recording and auto records when power is received. It uses capacitors, not lithium ion batteries for better heat resistance. It has GPS, Wi-Fi, and a proper parking mode. All the major features we think are important. Like all front back cameras, the a 129s second camera attaches using adhesive pads to your rear windshield. It sends video to the front camera through a 20-foot cable with an easy plug-and-play connection. We think adding a rear camera is a significant upgrade over a front-only setup. We listed a few reasons on the side. The most significant is to grab license plates in a hit-and-run accident or during road rage or tailgating incidents. Looking at the A129's wedge-shaped body, we find it stealthy and provides good functionality. Facing the driver is a 2-inch HD screen with buttons to control the camera. There are connection ports on one side of the camera and the microSD card slot on the other. The back side features VFO's new side mounting system, which is more secure and rattle-free compared to the A119's up-down system, which would wobble and require a fix with a foam wedge. In both systems, the pins send data and power from the GPS mount and allow you to quickly remove and attach the camera should you need to hide it away. The A129 uses an F1.6 glass lens and Sony Starvis sensors for both the front and back camera, which improves low light vision. This is one of the best hardware specs on dual channel cameras, premium models included. The rear camera shares the same housing as Oki and Street Guardian, but the technology is more advanced. The A129 Dual has a bigger lens and a better sensor. Functionally, the design works quite well for slanted and vertical windshields. Its matte design is hard to see by people walking by. The experience unboxing the camera was quite pleasant. Vehicle uses thick cardboard for protection. I love these small embellishments like a foil stamp logo. It feels more refined compared to Vehicle's previous packaging. Inside, it's more basic. There are snug foam cutouts for your camera with a cardboard divider separating your accessories. Below, you get everything you need to install the camera, including two extra sets of mounts and a separate charger and USB cable, which lets you more easily upgrade to a proper USB charger. Only two drawbacks. One, there's no extra windshield mount included, which is helpful if you want to move your camera between vehicles. Two, the optional Bluetooth remote is $20. A bit of a bummer as one was included for free on the $120 Mini 0906. The remote triggers the file lock feature which protects the current video footage from being overwritten. You can stick the remote anywhere and it's much more convenient than fumbling around for a lock button on the camera. If VFO can reduce the price to $10, I think more people would be interested. Looking at video quality, the A129 ranks near the top due to its amazing hardware. In November 2018, there's only one dual channel camera that significantly beats the A129 in video quality, which is the $480 4K Blackview DR900S and only during the day. As a first for us, we found the front and rear video quality to be nearly identical. Normally the rear camera is worse. Before, some people would install two single lens cameras like the A119 to get cheap front back recording as a good dual channel camera will cost over $400 
and still have somewhat inferior video quality. Now with the VFO A129, there's no big advantage in getting two separate cameras. It costs more money, you need a second micro SD card, plus you have to monitor both cameras to ensure they are working. The A129 also fixes the issues we had with our previous recommendations, the $130 Mini 0906 and the Oki DR02D. While we are removing these cameras off our list of top picks, they do have value if you need to save money, as the video quality is fairly similar to the A29 as they share some hardware. The cameras under $130 are even worse. The construction is poorer, often using lithium-ion batteries and have poor warranty support. The rear video quality is abysmal, but it is good enough to show what happened. If you want to learn more about our former picks, you can watch the first review we made on budget dual channel cameras. Finally, we get a lot of questions on whether the cameras we review can see through tinted glass. You should have no problems unless they are very dark. We are using 35% tints and have great video quality. Listening to the audio quality, we found it to be quite good. It picks up conversations well with little electronic noise. Installing the camera was as easy as other dual channel cameras. The hardest part is running the 20 foot USB cable to your rear windshield. We recommend routing your cable around your windshield, then across your headliner or preferably down to the floor and then to your rear window. Each vehicle is different, but I think most people could do everything in under an hour. If you're interested in parking mode, we recommend buying and installing VFO's 3 cable hard wiring kit. It allows your camera to sense when your vehicle has turned off and then enable the special space and energy saving recording modes. Keep in mind the two wire kits that sold with many retailers is not as good. It can not detect your vehicle turning off and signal the camera to start parking mode. The installation process goes beyond what we can cover in this video. As a summary, there are two power leads. You connect one to a constantly on circuit like your dome lights. The other to a switch circuit like your 12 volt car socket. Professional help may be needed. We'll get in depth with the A129's parking mode later. After installation, the A129 can be used right away, but you may want to customize a few options, which can be done easily through the LCD screen. While the navigation lacks on screen controls, the A129 was overall easy to use. You can also turn on Wi Fi and use VFO's iOS or Android app to change settings, view, and download saved videos. It provides the same functionality as what you can do on the camera itself. The A129 has fast file download and streaming speeds, as it's one of the few cameras that use the 5 GHz Wi-Fi frequency. Most cameras use the 2.4 GHz spectrum, which is slower. In the A129, it causes streaming to stutter. Overall, the app was easy to use, but it's not as polished as Thinkware or Blackview. For example, the actions to delete files wasn't obvious and you needed to consult the manual to understand how to turn off Wi-Fi so you can access the menu on your camera. Still, for most users, it won't be a problem. Once setup was complete, we looked at how easy the A129 is to use day to day. Overall, it's quite good. There's only a few minor things we'd like to see improved. Measuring the startup speed, the A129 took slightly longer at 18 seconds from power on to the start of recording but that shouldn't impede you from leaving. The file lock button protects important files from being overwritten. The button is distinctive and somewhat easy to find in the dark, but you can accidentally stop recording if you press the adjacent button. If this is a concern, you can purchase the wireless remote. We also tested status notifications, which lets you know how well your camera is running. Overall, the A129 does a good job. In most situations where your camera fails to record, you get an audible and visual alert that something is wrong. But we found one of our three failed SD cards had no audible warning. Not great, but not terrible either. Even so, VFO has done a much better job than our former recommendations. The Mini 0906 or Oki DR02D. In several situations, they had no audible alerts and a quickly disappearing message. To us, that's a big deal as you can miss that your camera has stopped recording until you get a traffic ticket or into an accident. The VFO A129 Duo fixes that problem and the others we mentioned earlier. If you want more details, you can watch our older review on these cameras. VFO's parking mode has three settings, but we would only recommend time lapse or low bitrate. The motion detection setting lacks buffered recording, which means it will only record after it detects movement, which can cause you to miss the initial impact. This parking mode can be turned on in two ways. The three wire kit is most reliable as the G-Sensor method was buggy on the beta firmware we were using. 
Testing energy consumption, we found the A119 uses relatively little power compared to other cameras. This helps you record for longer. Overall, we found the A129 with the three-wire kit has the most useful parking mode under $200. Still, for hot environments, proven reliability, or internet features like streaming, you may wish to look at premium cameras. We made a recent review of our top picks, and here's a summary screen of our findings so you can compare and make a better purchasing decision. To some, these extras might not be worth it, and we understand why as the VFO A129 brings a ton of value. But to others, the A129 isn't enough. Too cheap looking, unproven parking mode, with an unrefined user experience. I also want to talk about Rexing's V1P 3rd generation and the V1P Pro. There are two front rear cameras that approach the specs of the A129. Rexing is popular and frequently mentioned by our viewers because of their positive reviews on retailers like Amazon. These V1P models are the first time Rexing has used capacitors, not lithium ion batteries in their cameras, which is a huge improvement in our opinion. After comparing their specs and features, our analysis is the VFO A129 has better hardware and value than the Rexing cameras and remains our recommendation. Still, we can't deny their positive reputation and consistently strong customer support. One reason is that Rexing only sells directly in the United States. You won't find overseas retailers messing up customer support. While we haven't tested either V1P models, we have no major objections from our research if you feel a Rexing camera is better because of their customer support, even though we think the VFO A129 has better hardware and features. Coming back to VFO, if you are considering buying the A129 Duo, don't buy internationally unless you lack a retailer in your country. The vast majority of complaints were from customers with failed cameras who found they needed to pay for expensive overseas shipping. There's a list of authorized retailers on their website for many countries. We have links below in the description with great retailers like OCD Tronic or Black Box My Car for North America. While there are a lot of choices, Hopefully we have given you the information to make a good buying decision. And if you do have questions, we'll do our best to answer them below. With that, that's the end of the review. Hope you got value out of it. We'll update the description below this video with any changes, good or bad. You can also find links to the products and retailers we recommended there too. Subscribe for more, hit that bell button to be notified of any future reviews. Thanks for watching.